<laughs> Look how cute. I have a pitcher problem. Hi, I'm Angel, and this is Done Unperfectly, the place where we battle perfection one project at a time, getting things done unperfectly. Hi, I'm Angel, and I'm a pitcherholic. I'm addicted to pictures. I love my pictures. They are, it is so hard for me to get rid of any of them. I, I really, really struggle. To give you an idea of how hard I struggle, I have an online um, app called Smug Mug where I store a lot of my pictures. Um, I take pictures amateurly every now and then for folks and um, a lot of times it's pictures of my kids' sports. I, I just, I love pictures. I've been doing photography since I was in high school and I don't see it ending and I don't feel bad about it. So, to give you an idea of the volume that I'm talking about, just my electronic pictures. These are just electronic. doesn't count the, the hoarding piles I have at my house. My electronic pictures, I have 91,347 uploads. And that includes both pictures and videos. I have a problem. And I'm okay with it. So... I came across this idea one day. I thought, if I really treasure these, and I'm not gonna store them electronically where I can't see them, I need to figure out how to treasure them. So that's something I want you to consider when you're looking at the overvalued items in your house. They are completely overvalued to the normal person, but to you, they're priceless and they're worth any penny. And I'm not about to give them up without a fight. So what I have done over my four children's school years is I have ordered an eight by 10, some five by sevens, and some CDs of each child. So I have that, I should have at least that in all of my piles. So the plan was, is I was gonna keep the eight by 10 and give the five by seven to the kids when they get older and maybe hand them out to grandparents and such. Well, I've decided that I probably should give the eight by 10 to my children because there's other things that can go with it like their uh, report cards and such. And so I'm making a scrapbook for the kids on the eight by tens. But today I want to t just tackle my photo album that I plan to keep for a while. Now, I found these online on Amazon, and I'll link them below. Um, and, uh, they're a photo frame with pages that I can use for um, each year during school. So you can see that I have um, some pictures already started. So I want to take a moment show you what I'm doing, and maybe by the time you're done, you will have a beautiful treasure that you can present in your home without it being cluttered. Who's gonna take the time to look at this when they come in your home? But if this is sitting out and they could see that it's an album, even you might slow down and look at it a little. Okay, so all I'm doing is taking each picture I'm cutting out a five by seven. Oh, almost messed up. Cutting out a five by seven. Okay, so I want to keep my pictures pretty much in one place because it's been very, very helpful. The school photographer has. Um, been very helpful and I didn't even realize it until I started doing this. So on each child it has what year they're in and what teacher they have on the little order form. So I know that this is my son's first grade picture. Seems simple enough I guess. 
I'm going to go to his particular album. And what I've done is I have set aside the first page for preschool graduation. Still have to hunt down those pictures. They're upstairs somewhere. And then I have his kindergarten picture and his kindergarten graduation. And this is his first grade picture. Now, before I put it in this album, what are the odds these can get mixed up and I'm going to remember what grade this particular picture is? So, in the bottom right-hand corner of the picture, I'm writing a one for first grade and I'm putting it in the proper page for that picture. Okay. Yep, that's right. Once I get all of his pictures in, I have a beautiful thing that I can store on the foyer table or a shelf or somewhere else in my house where it can have a place of honor and it can be treasured. I plan on putting the latest picture in the front and when that latest picture is uh, replaced with a new one, it can go back in the, in the years and we can see the growth of each kid. Um, something that I know that I'm going to thoroughly treasure. It's going to be a wonderful keepsake for me and it's going to be in a place where when I walk by it every now and then I'll slow down and look at it myself. Let's hope I don't start tears. So once I'm done getting this, getting the picture into this photo album, on the front of this envelope, because I have multiple uses for this envelope still, I'm not getting all the pictures out of it. Um, taking one item at a time. We're not doing everything. We'll get overwhelmed and we'll stop. I have a few minutes this afternoon, so I thought, you know what? I'll finish that album. Do not try to tackle all scenarios at once. You won't get to it. And just pull out a little bit so you can handle it and um, not be stressed out. You can get to the rest later. It's been sitting in a box upstairs. My daughter is now a senior in college and it's been sitting upstairs since. So any little bit of movement forward is a good thing, okay? Now, after I get done with this, I'm going to pull the CD out of the envelope and I'm going to load it on my computer and put it in my Smug Mug app, Smug Mug, Smug Mug app where I store all my pictures. Now, it is an app that I pay for, but I'm finding that all the three, uh, the free apps that store pictures, over time, they're like setting up limits. And like I told you, I have 91,000. And to me, it's worth the small fee. I'll have the link below if you're interested. You can use it or not, up to you, but it is available. Um, so with this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go take a moment and load this into my Smug Mug account. And then when I'm done putting it in my Smug Mug account, I'm going to put Smug Mug here so I know it's also electronically filed. Should, in the worst case scenario, there be a, a house fire, I still have the ability to get to my pictures. I absolutely love how these turned out. I am absolutely tickled. Now I can walk by, see my beautiful children, and if I have a moment, I can stop and flip through the pages and remember them when they were young. I'm going to thoroughly enjoy this. I hope you consider it too. And with that, I think we can consider this project done unperfectly. You have a wonderful day.